we start with general concepts before the design. Reverse osmosis and non-filtration systems, a stage and array. There are different types of flow configurations in reverse osmosis systems, including single stage, two stage, single pass, and two pass systems. The membrane elements are enclosed in pressure vessels. Reverse osmosis systems can contain one to several groups of pressure vessels. Each group of pressure vessels is called a stage. The concentrate from one stage can be fed to a subsequent stage to increase water recovery. In this figure, you can see a three-stage system. Reverse osmosis systems can also have distinct reverse osmosis units referred to as a pass. The permeate from one stage can be fed to a second stage to increase solute removal in a two-pass system. For applications where high purity water is required, two-pass systems are common because they essentially treat the water twice in two distinct systems. These flow configurations can be optimized, influencing overall system performance. A unit of production capacity which may contain one or more stage is called an array. In this figure, you can see a three-stage array as well as two-pass system.